Ciao, everyone. Welcome to the Hardcore Italian Podcast. We're going to go over the Italian-American news of the week. So let's get into it. Andiamo. <music> Guys, sorry it's been a while since we uploaded. We've been kind of working on getting this podcast area revamped. We're working on it more and more every day. Trying to decorate it a little bit. We're going to get another shelf here. <laughs> Attempting to make it look good. Guys, again, we're reading the comments. You know, we just started really revamping this podcast recently. So I'm I'm looking at every one of your comments. Um, I'm actually looking at one of the comments now where somebody suggested to me that we should talk about how Anthony Volpe is on a, a hot streak because he ate chicken parm. So we'll pop that up there here. But um, you never know. Leave a comment. Could be the next video. And uh, we really appreciate your support. So Without further ado, let's get into the news. So first article we have coming up is about Anthony Volpe, the Yankees Italian American shortstop. And there's been something that's hilarious going on. Uh, <laughs> there's a rumor and people are making jokes that he's on a hot streak because of a classic Italian American dish, chicken Parmesan. So, so as you know, Aaron judge is out. He's been injured. He suffered a toe injury and he's been out. The Yankees have been trying to find the rhythm and, Anthony Volpe hasn't been doing too much lately either. Um, he's been trying to find his place as well, and the Yankees always stuck by him, even when he had some slumps. But recently, he's been keeping the Yankees going. He's been preventing them from completely falling apart. I mean, Aaron Judge is a huge loss to their lineup. And what happened was he's been going through a little bit of a rough patch, not batting extremely well. He was batting under 200 batting average, and he's just trying to find his place. And if you're not batting 200 and you're living up to Derek Jeter's shoes as a Yankees starting shortstop, it's it's tough, probably stressful. So the rumor has it that he was out to dinner with one of his former teammates, Austin Wells, from the minor league. And on June 14th, he was out with his teammate talking, and I guess they discussed an adjustment to his batting stance over this chicken parmesan dinner. And ever since June 14th, his stats have been phenomenally up, like not even... We'll pop up the stats for you now, and I'll read them out for you too, but his offensive stats have just gone through the roof. His slash line is OPS, his BABIP, his doubles, triples, home runs, walks, stolen bases. So out of the eight stats here, there was an improvement in every single stat. The only two that he did not show an improvement on were home runs and stolen bases. So everything's been up, especially the one that stands out to me is the slash line. I mean, his batting average was .186. And since this chicken parm dinner, it's been up to uh, 373. So he's honestly really killing it. It's it's crazy. <laughs> and it's uh, it's just funny because everyone's just blaming it on the chicken parm. And, and uh, a lot of other news sources are talking about it and stuff like that. So it is pretty funny. Hey, maybe more MLB players should go out for dinner for uh, chicken parm if they're feeling a little slump going on. It worked for Anthony Volpe. So. So in other sports news, there's a new Italian-born hockey player to enter the NHL. His name is Damian Clara. Damian is a goaltender, and he was drafted 60th overall by the Anaheim Ducks. Some people are saying he's the first ever Italian-born goaltender to enter the NHL, where some sources are saying that may not be true, so I don't want to quote that exactly yet without looking into it a little bit further. But it is a big deal for an Italian-born player to enter the NHL. Nonetheless, there's been only a handful of people to ever do it. It's really not that popular of a sport in Italy at the moment. And luckily he was playing and he entered into a league outside of Italy that got him noticed that ultimately got him entered into the NHL. And Damien's from Brunico, Italy, which if you don't know, it's very, 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 very North Italy, almost as North as you can get. And he's huge. He's six foot six. And I guess he incorporates that into his play style, his goaltending style. He uses his height to his advantage. He's rumored to be very good. And it's just cool for the NHL. They, If you're good at hockey, they'll take you from anywhere. It doesn't matter what country you're from. So cool to see you by the NHL. And we'll see how Damien does. Let us know what you guys think if you're excited to watch him play and if you like the Ducks. In other news, there's a rumor that's been going around. Obviously, you heard that Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg might cage fight, which probably got amplified by 15 now that Mark Zuckerberg just came out with threads, which is pretty much an exact replica of Twitter. And there's a, been a big rumor that they're going to have a cage fight in the Roman Coliseum. We'll pop up the tweet. Elon said it might possibly be at the Coliseum. There was a rumor that someone from the Italian government said that that's where they want the fight and they invited them. Italian government did comment on it after. Um, I guess they only commented because of the rumor, but they did comment after saying that they would have Mark Zuckerberg and Elon in the Coliseum, but 
nothing violent. They don't want any violence there. So we'll see, guys. Let us know. Do you want to see a fight between Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk? Who would you want to win? Would it be cool to be at the Roman Coliseum? I mean, we'll see. This whole uh, cage match idea between two major CEOs would be nuts. I mean, can you imagine the Coliseum, two of all places? That would just be insane. So we'll see what happens. Let us know what you guys think. So in other news with the Roman Coliseum, there recently was a tourist that carved him and his fiance's name into the uh, into the Coliseum. And people are freaking out. There's a video that went viral. I'm actually going to watch it now and react now with you guys. And we'll uh, pop it up, too. It's very short. So it's kind of funny. I don't know. I guess... <laughs> On the right hand, they look like they got a screenshot of him, and he's just blatantly smiling, proud of it. Um, it's probably something you would never notice if it wasn't caught on video, to be honest. But just the fact that he's smiling, like happy about it, you are ruining. I mean, that's a part of history, the Coliseum. You shouldn't be messing with it. So I understand why people are mad, and especially the Italian government is mad. I guess that the name that he carved into it said Ivan and Haley, and he used keys. So the Italian government's pissed about it. They saw the video too, and they're saying that he could face jail time. It's disrespectful actions, and local authorities have been notified. It's very unlikely that they're going to catch him. There's so many tourists that go to Italy and to Rome. It's probably going to be very hard to catch him, but Italy's determined. They said it could be a $22,000 fine and jail time. So they're uh, they're really looking into it and are serious about it. They do not want that monument touched. One last bit of news for you guys, something Hardcore Italians is doing. We're actually having a bocce ball tournament in Stone Park, Illinois on October 7th. We're hosting it with the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame, which if you could see up here, our belt that I got in a decoration for us here is from them. We run the Friendship Award from them and we work very hand in hand with the organization and we're very excited to bring an event with us two together, especially one that's an Italian sport and tradition. So if you guys are interested, it's in the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois, Stone Park, Illinois. And um, you basically sign up with a team of four. It's going to be fun. There's going to be a car show with it. It's just going to be a blast. So you can even if you even if you don't play, you could show up and have a good time. It's going to be really fun. If you want to sign up, it's on Eventbrite. We'll put the link below and we hope to see you there. We'll all be there. We're uh, a Chicago based company, if you guys didn't know. So it's going to be a blast. We're really looking forward to it. But guys, that's all I have for today. Wanted to get something up quick since it's been a few weeks since the video again. Again, please give us a like, a comment, a subscribe. Help us with the YouTube algorithm. Please support us. We appreciate it. And let us know what you guys want to see next. We're even talking about maybe making more videos with other people here at the warehouse. Maybe making more videos with just different topics. If there's any content you want to see with our new setup, please drop it below. And we look forward to seeing you on a future video.